Hey, you all. So this is the last word for today. Amen. This is about your kingdom marriage. I don't know what this word is for, but this is what the Lord is saying. Let me deal with it. God wants to deal with the situation. God wants to deal with your godly spouses. What is for the wives, okay, that are already in your godly marriages and all your or your marriage restoration has just begun and the lord is still working on your kingdom husband but you have been trying to like take the role of god or play the role of god unknowingly unintentionally and the lord wants you to let him deal with him let the lord god deal with your husband okay all you need to do is do what the lord has been asking you to do to be an intercessor Pray, 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 pray every single time for your spouse and let God deal with him. I'm encouraging you today because many a time when we begin to try to do things in our own way, we, we begin to mess things up and things and, and, and then things be, uh, begin to get messier and more messier than they were before and you end up ruining everything. So don't get on your high horse and begin to think, like you know what you're doing because guess what you don't know what you're doing you don't know anything because when when the lord began to restore my own marriage i was like that too i would be like trying to fix my husband trying to like oh let me see oh this let me try and do this let me like, no stop okay let god deal with your godly spouse let the lord deal with your husband even even to the husbands as well that you know god has sent you your kingdom wife you're married you're in your kingdom marriage but then there are things you see about your kingdom wife that are not pleasing to you and you're trying to change her you can't change anybody nobody has any power to change anybody amen god is the one that works through us to help somebody to change but we need to understand that it is of his will and of his grace for us um to be able to do the things that he wants us to do amen he, he wants us to be able um to um obey him and and do what he asks us to do so that we can see the changes that we want to see in other people and in our lives as well in our marriage in our in our in our children in our spouse's life and so on and so forth amen so those so this what is for you about your kingdom marriage about your marriage restoration let god deal with the situation let god deal with him surrender it to god because he is alpha and he's omega he knows the end from the beginning and his will and his plan for you is good and not evil amen amen put all of your trust in the lord and don't lean onto your own understanding of how things should work out or how things should be no 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 no. surrender it to god that's why the lord is saying for you to submit unto him wives if you submit unto the lord if you submit unto father god Father God will be able to walk, walk on your behalf and then do what he needs to do the right way. But when you refuse to submit and you're disobeying the Lord and trying to go out of his own way, of his own plan for you and then do things your own way, you're beginning to um, override the Lord and just beginning to just mess things up for yourself and your kingdom spouse. So just allow the Lord God to deal with him by you submitting unto the Lord and doing what the Lord is telling, or sorry, what and what he's asking you to do for your kingdom marriage to be a success in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed you all. We'll see you all in tomorrow, day three of Feast of Weeks.